All right, boys and girls, you can see the timer, so that means we're ready for this week's Minute to Win It Challenge. Now, this one is based on tic-tac-toe, and I'm actually going to show you two different versions that you can do. One you can do is Minute to Win It, which I'm about to do by myself, and the other one you can play against someone. Now, hopefully we're all familiar with tic-tac-toe. If not, I put up a little chart here. I know you're jealous of my excellent art skills on how you can win. Remember, you can win in a horizontal fashion. That means going across. You can win diagonally or you can win vertically. So I put an example of each of those up here. Now today's minute to win a challenge, I set up a tic-tac-toe grid with buckets. You don't have to use buckets, you can use boxes, you can use anything you want. And I'm gonna show you a different version that you can do after this when I'm playing against somebody. But you can play either version as minute to win it or against somebody in a race. All right, so this is how we set it up. Now once the tic-tac-toe grid is here, you would back away. I'm going to use this for my throwing line, and I'm going to start with three balls. Now, I have to make a tic-tac-toe with those three balls, and before I can throw a ball, I'm going to do two windmills. This is what a windmill looks like. My feet are spread apart, arms are out. One, two, then I can pick up the ball and throw. Whether I make it or miss it, I do two windmills, and then I pick up the next one. Okay, so think strategy. The easiest way to win would probably be horizontal in this one. But to make it a little more challenging for me, I'm going to say I have to win vertically. So I'm going to say I have to go up and down on one of these. All right, so here we go. successfully did mine. Now in this case, I, if I had missed that one, I could run and get the ball. Let's say it was over here. I could go back, do my windmills, and continue the game. All right, so you don't have to get all three in on the first try. If I had missed two, I could go pick up two balls. So again, you can only have three. I would leave in whichever ones that you have made already, especially if there's two in a row. But let's say you made one here and here probably going to have to pick up one of or you would have to pick up one of those balls and the one that you missed. All right, so that's the minute to win it version. Still have time going on and I explain that over again. All right, so next I'm going to show you how you can play against somebody or a minute to win it in a different style. All right, everyone, we're ready for version two. Now in this version of tic-tac-toe, I drew a tic-tac-toe board on the ground using sidewalk chalk. Now if you don't have sidewalk chalk, you can use something like tape or you can get a bunch of socks and lay them out like we've done in some of our other videos. Anything you can do, you can get some sticks, whatever you can do to make a tic-tac-toe board on the ground. Now this is gonna make this, this version a little more challenging because in the bucket, or with the buckets or cardboard boxes, once the ball lands in there, it's gonna stay in there. Now that we're playing on flat ground, the ball is gonna continue to roll, which will make it a little more challenging. Now we're playing with sock balls, We've showed you how to make this multiple times, but just in case, roll it up and push the rolled up part through a little bit and round it out. Okay, now this is also going to be a little more challenging using a sock ball versus a regular ball because a sock ball, no matter how good a job you try and do, it's not going to be perfectly round, so it may not roll straight, it may roll and then go off to the side. So, again, lots more challenging or more challenges on this version of the game. Now, once you have your tic-tac-toe board set up, you have to establish your throwing line. So I've used it back there, or I've set it up back there using some bricks. So we'll have to go, or we'll have to throw from behind the bricks. Now we're gonna start with five of our softballs. And we're gonna throw all five of them out. But if neither player gets a tic-tac-toe, and remember you can go vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. If neither one of us gets a tic-tac-toe, we keep going, and you don't have to wait for the other person to throw. It's a race, so get all five of your balls out there as quickly as you can, and hopefully you make a tic-tac-toe. If not, let's say you see something like this. You have one here, one here, one here, and the other two were just, they went too far. So when you collect your balls, you don't have to collect all of them. In fact, I would leave any two in a row that you already have. So here, 
we have two in a row. I would leave those two because you only need to make one here now to win the game. Also, we could win two in a row here if we get another ball here. So I would leave all three of those. I would just pick up the two and then run back to the line and try and make a tic-tac-toe with your two balls. I'd probably go for this one because that's the closest one. That's probably going to be the easiest. Okay, so that's the strategy you want to use for this game. And again, you can play either version of this game, whether you're on flat ground or with buckets or boxes, as minute to win it, or you can play with a partner as a race. So I'm going to bring out Mrs. B now. She's going to be the red team, and I'm going to be the gray team, and we'll see who can get a tic-tac-toe first. All right, everyone. Mrs. B has joined us, so we're ready to start. Each of us has five soft balls. We're behind our brick line here. The first person to get three balls in a row and gets a tic-tac-toe is the winner of this game. So Mrs. B will tell us when to start. Go. All right, here we go. So again, you can go for anyone. Remember, your sock ball is going to keep rolling. So once you get two, so I've got two in a row there. I just need that last one. My strategy would be to just go for that last square that I need instead of going for a different one. And it must be fully inside the square. You also don't have to wait for the other player. So Mrs. B was hesitating there. Don't wait for the other player to finish. Remember, it's a race. I'm going to say no win for me on that one. It's a little bit close to being the outside. Give this is be another chance here. Oh, too far out. So that one was pretty close, but close to the line, I think. Again, you may not win on the first try. Mrs. B got me on this one. She's playing sick today and even beat me, so keep practicing, see if you can get better. Now remember, we are using the underhand toss on this one. Always use your dominant hand, step with the opposite foot. Okay, and again, it's more challenging because of this version that we play. You can play either version that you like as minute to win it or as a race. So thanks to Mrs. B for coming out. I hope you have fun playing tic-tac-toe. See you in the next section.